Now, Jimmy, Clay Packy calling a fixture Mythos, they're obviously going for Legendary. Do you think they're even there? Well, I'm not burdened with the benefits of a classical education, <laughs> Jason, but I tell you what, this is a bloody good fixture. It really, really is. I'm extremely impressed by how well they've gone here. Mm. So um, it's a 470 watt discharge lamp uh, and it can work as a beam, a spot, or a wash and does all three really well. Yeah, they don't technically call it a wash, but mm. you know, uh, we've got enough zoom range yeah. and a frost, uh, you know, it's like mm. you'd, you'd be hard pressed to deny its capabilities as a wash. Yeah, exactly. And so in spot mode, it goes from four degrees to 50. You put it in uh, beam mode and it goes down to 2.5. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we got beam reducers. I think the cool thing about this is that you can actually, um, the focal point actually can be outside the fixture. So you mm. can actually see if you fire it through haze, you can see the beam goes mm. narrow and crosses over and then keeps going. Yeah. yeah. Um, which means you've got to be a little bit careful about what you pointed out nearby. But mm. uh, look, I think this is a wonderfully capable and uh, certainly very flexible fixture. And the other nice thing that's not official, but you know, I've noticed is there's not really anywhere for water to get in mm. underneath it. So if you've got this outdoors on a festival, it's not IP rated. I'm not saying it's IP rated. <laughs> But, you know, if a little bit of rain falls on it, if a bit of light rain and tea can get up and, and bag them, you know, the fixture's probably not going to suffer in the same way as something that's got yeah. lots of vents underneath yeah, it. Yeah, look, there's something about the design, the way that the casing, the yoke, it's all kind of off a piece. It was a beautiful industrial design. It looks keep... exactly like a super sharp. Yeah, <laughs> well, it might. Um, but it, it's keeping, I think it's keeping the noise down as well. This is remarkably it's quiet for quiet. what it does. So, yeah. Well, we should show the people how bright it is. Yeah. So well, that's... Um, <laughs> That's at, uh, well, that's just in profile mode. We can go to our wide beam. Mm. We can go to our very beamy mode. Mm. And we've got some colors there. And you mm. can see we've got the studio pretty well lit up here. Mm. And there's still enough color, uh, enough output from this that you can see the colors mm. quite distinctly. And we've got some gobos there. Mm. Um, now, the other nice thing, I'll turn this off so you can rejoin the party here. <laughs> Thank you. Um, the other nice thing is the uh, the focus tracking with the zoom. Yeah, so, that's really impressive. So if you zoom, you know, you, you focus your gobo on mm. a thing, then it doesn't matter if you zoom in or out, the, mm. the gobo stays in focus, and yeah. that's really cool. Yeah, that is really impressive. Look, I think this is a wonderful fixture. Um, mm. I think to an extent, this is again, Clay Packy showing off how good they are at optics. Yeah, and I'm okay with yeah, that. Yeah, 160 mil lens on the front and there's some amazing things going on yeah. under the hood there. And look, I mean, for, what, uh, for what's inside there, we should, we should talk about the features. Mm. There's a, a fixed gobo wheel, mm. which is just one wheel with the gobos stamped into it. There's a seven position rotating mm. gobo wheel. You can't use that when you're in beam mode mm. because the focal points just don't work mm. and the fixture knows that so I just won't let you try. Um, we've got CMY colour mixing, we've got uh, CTO, um, it's a discharge lamp so of mm -hmm. course you know high colour temperature. Uh, look it's very quiet, it's got true one power connector, we've got five pin DMX in and through as well as Ethernet. Mm. Uh, look what's not to like? Yeah look it's not, you could light a show with a rig of just these. Yes yeah, and you could. You could and, and you could do it effectively. Yeah it's a beautiful piece of equipment. Yeah top notch. Thank you so much for watching Gearbox. If you like what you saw, please give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking below. We'll see you next time.